Well, the pitch is not only playable, it's in absolutely ideal condition. I was talking to Dougie Hope, he went out and had a look at the pitch, felt it myself at the very edge, so we should get a fine football match. We normally do, at least in the past couple of seasons, we've uh, normally had excellent play between these two teams. Last time I saw them, in fact, was at Tynecastle, where, with due respect to the United, they stole a point with Paul Sturrock scoring at the end of either half. Robertson does very well indeed. Black is there. Black. Whittaker does very well when he attacks on the left. McAnally was with him. So I think to Hart. Clark. Or oh, Hart's going very well. John Robertson in with a chance. And it's a brilliant oh no. No, no, no. Some very excited Hart supporters near me, but rightly the goal was chopped off. The linesman had his flag up. And I think justified in doing so. Watch as that's nudged forward there. And I think the offside, in fact, was against Clark initially, yes, even though Mackay put it promptly away. McGuinness. Hart's playing like furies at the moment. That's an excellent ball. Now Whitaker. Clark. He's going to get the touch, and it must be. Oh, is it off? Oh, that must have been very close indeed. It's no goal, and therefore it's one of the most brilliant clearances of the season. How close it was. Clark. Good overlap by Whitaker. Look at that boisterous foot by Clark. He got the touch. Now watch this. Oh, uh, difficult to make a final judgment at that, but the linesman was on the spot. No goal. Sturrock might just get this, he does. Oh, brilliant play by Sturrock. Superb, Bannon. Winning. Well, the kid. I think it's a throw to Dundee United, yes. One or two slightly disagreeing with him. Redford in a very good position, and he meant that for Paul Stunner. Holt. The run is on by McAnally. Did well to get that over this Ferguson going for it. Stunner said, Bennett! What a marvellous start we've had to this match. Ferguson turning Sandy Jordan with them. Good supporting one by the highest defend Ferguson. Slips it in. Well, I must say, full marks to both sets of players. It's a cold draw day in the D. And they've set about this afternoon with a kind of relish of an almost spring afternoon. Ferguson, beautiful ball. Redford, Stunner trying to go for the stairs. Ferguson, Bannon, deals for hands. No complaints, so Robertson. Here's Kenny Black. Very good touch there by Sandy Clark again. In fact, probably winning the jewel in the air against uh, David Derry at this stage. Bannon, run by Redford. Hard certainly getting many more players forward. And he always gives good support, but that's oh, beautifully taken by the goalkeeper, Robertson is in. That must be, it is, Sandy Clark. No, would you believe, offside again. He can't believe it. Now, this time, the referee is going to consult personally. Uh, there was Robertson going in, and the goalkeeper, Kenny Blank, was there. 
long consultation and uh, I personally saw nothing wrong with that
Ferguson. And it's a good ball, kills for a penalty there. Strong appeal for it as the two United players went into it. Now, was this a penalty kick? In they went. Try to go for this, and I, in actual fact, I think it may have been a collision between the two United players. Always an extra Hearts defender. This is what's so good about this present Hearts team. Always somebody there in reserve. Yeah, quite simply, a very difficult team to beat. That's a better one. Solid Hearts defence. and jostling in the box as we watch that corner I don't think the linesman saw anything well this is exactly what happened watch Bannon oh and he put his arm on well looked to me as if the arm was deliberately put out Bannon running round there arm going up yes it was indeed and the referee didn't see that but arch captain Kidd McGuinness simple one for the goalkeeper <laughs> as if he got it in a, a present sort of tackle there by Whitaker. And there goes a the hot time whistle. What a remarkable first half we've had. All I can say is thank you very much to both sets of players. On a cold draw afternoon they've said about it almost as if it's a cup tie. The pace has been unabated and the only fear is it may sag in the second half. I don't possibly see how they can keep it going. The only goal in it by John Robertson after intense Hearts pressure. A goal they thoroughly deserved at that stage. And I'm quite sure these uh, gentlemen from, I would assume, the Edinburgh district have uh, felt it worthwhile to get into the seasonal spirit, given, of course, that there is still another half to come. Itchy feet there from the Hearts players, and indeed, I'm sure they would in at halftime thinking they could have killed this game stone dead. He had three or four distinct chances in the game. Could have been, oh, two, three up at the stage. And yet, uh, Dundee United have legitimate cause for complaint. One of the players definitely struck on the penalty. There's no question about that, in my mind. All adding up to very good entertainment. And I think the corner kick as Hearts launched themselves into the attack against Sandy Clark getting that early opportunity what a useful afternoon he's had he comes up on the follow-up here there he is just stabs it in Ooh, a touch it I can play I'm sure it did Walter Kidd looked like the tiniest deflection Ferguson there's Bannon Right off form. McAnally, good running by Bannon again. Now the final ball matters. Ooh, just beyond Boris Malpas. McAnally. There's Malchus. Bannon! the wrong side of his player but that was a distinct shot at goal now watch the ferocity of this yes he was meaning to hit that straight to goal Loss 
side. Oh, that Cisco clock with the hitter. You know, I looking back over the the game from the start, I can't recollect when Clark has missed out a ball in the air. I mean, not all of his touches have been effective, but he's got there and he gets there once again. Better play by Ferguson, who's now having to lie very deep. Trying to get the ball. Laid off to Holt. Good control by Holt. Run there by Redford. Oh, and that's good recovery by Kidd. Really is. Scarab. Ball still in play. Bannon was coming in on that. Now Stunnock. There's a tip forward. Ferguson. Well, you can see the United supporters in the background there. Responding to this. That was a better move by United. Oh, Berry. Oh, Berry made a meal of that. And that's a better ball to Redford. He's going to chip the goalkeeper and he does, but to the side. And as the wind gets up, it may well have been that blowing. I think quite vigorously now that slightly went out of control as a result. Pushing there on Cahoon, yes, he gets a free kick out of that. The pink elephant away in the background is delighted. I, I think everybody else is seeing the same as I'm seeing. attack that has sent little shivers through this at the United support. The big goalkeeper did well. Now Jim McAnally is going to let fly with that. Not bad. Yes, McAnally quite entitled to go forward and try his chance now. Time is not on United's side. Seemed to touch the ground in front of the goalkeeper and it took a lot of the sting out of it. Redford. Superb play by Redford and Malpas. Now Sturrock, here's Malpas coming up. No uncertainty with Black there. Simply putting that away. Bit more from United now. I think they're realising with uh, oh, about 17 minutes left that they've been finding it difficult to get a shot in and Henry Smith got to lift the pace of the game up now. I think we'll see a lot of Billy Thompson punting that ball forward. There's Tarek with a chance, brilliantly saved. Well, just as I said, it was difficult to get to Smith. They had that momentary glimpse. But notice again the difficult, difficult angle. Ten minutes to go. John Holt with it. It's not out. Malthus, Redford, Ferguson, too strong. Amaginis, Bannon, McAnally. Oh, he has done it with a chance. He's done it. The equaliser by Stunnock. remaining and we were talking about the scarcity of chances but the United and the quality of striking is taking what is presented and that's exactly what Sonic has done defied by Henry Smith early in the second half there was no offside and he went to the left hand side of the keeper very delicate goal this by Sonic by the way under pressure Way he slipped it to the wrong side of the goalkeeper. You thought he might go away to the far side. Look at that. Excellent finishing. Supporters will be hanging on here. Jim McAnally. Ferguson, that's a better ball to Bannon. Now oh, Bannon. Here's Bannon with a great chance. Oh, it's a great goal. Oh, what a great goal. Two-one 
for United. Two goals and two minutes in this with Bannon at his best. I think personally he's had an indifferent afternoon by his own standard, but look at the way he dragged the defence down and under the most difficult circumstances, slotted at home against a really top class goalkeeper. Now watch that again, it's worth it from the other angle. How difficult it is to do. Away he goes to the side. Now it's his finish, the final ball. Look at them in the background. We're in the last minute. Clark with a hit and there's a chance. Oh, that was a real chance for Hart. McDonald had come forward and there is offside. And the intrusion of the big central defender into that penalty area almost caught out the United. In he came for this. There he is there. Look at that. Unfortunately, he's better in the air than on the ground in the penalty box. And was being given a goal kick. A disappointed John Robertson scored a very important goal for Hearts, played very well, could have had another couple, and now finds himself on the losing side, all in the space of a couple of minutes, I may say. Spirit didn't even jump for that. Malthus does. Robertson, too much. McAnally. Bannon outside of his foot. McDonald to Jardin. Here's Bergerson with a chance. And he's done it! Oh, amazing! Opportunist goal, I remember there was one. Two and a half minutes of injury time, and he saw the Hearts goalkeeper out of goal. This is a quite brilliant strike. He chipped him superbly. Yes, the United supporters will want to see that again. Look, he took that one, two, Three seconds and the ball's in the back of the net. That we have seen this afternoon. Two of the finest goals I've seen all season. And can you blame Hart for feeling absolutely staggered? There it goes. The final whistle, ten minutes to go. They had this game in command. I know there was only one goal in it, but they looked so purposeful and stable. And then suddenly, the blitz. Sturrock, then Vernon, and then that quite incredible injury time goal by Ian Ferguson. And there is a scoreline that will delight everybody in the Dundee United area. Anybody who wears the tangerine colours, they're going to have a very happy Christmas.